Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be just a very short video and we're in Excel instead of R and uh, making this video as much for the benefit of future me as it is for you but hopefully you have clicked on it because it's a question you are also trying to solve. So I was helping someone today and what they wanted to do in Excel was have an if statement that identified whether a time was before 4 p.m. And the data that they were working with was this style here. So it was the full date plus time together. So what I needed to be able to do was extract just the time component and then check whether it was before 4 p.m. So that's what my data is looking like. And here is my if statement. So we needed two different things for our if statement. The first was extracting the time component. And the way that we actually do that, because of how time is stored in Excel, we use the mod function. So um, if you're a programmer, you're probably more familiar with using the mod function for perhaps uh, working with remainders and division and things like that. But if we take the mod function and we feed it that day, that date plus time and mod one, the resulting piece is going to be uh, converted to number the time. Then what we want to do is we want to make a check of the time for uh, 4 p.m. And in order to do that, we use the time value function. So if we use time value, we put in the time, we put it in as 24 hour time, and we make sure that we have quotes around it, then that's going to register 4 p.m. in that same numeric format. So now we're comparing apples with apples, and we can just go, well, is the time less than 4 p.m.? If it is, we say true. If it's not, we say false. And so currently is the time before 4 p.m., and the time we have in here is 5.22 p.m., uh, and we've got a false. So let's maybe change this to be 3.22 p.m. Now it flicks over to true. Change it again, 3.22 a.m. Remains true. Bring it back to 9.22 p.m. Flicks over to false. So it looks like it is working correctly. Jump back in there, just remind ourselves. So the two bits we needed were mod and time value. I hope that was helpful. Uh, from time to time I will be putting Excel up in addition to my R videos, uh, particularly where it's something where I don't do it very often and it's a good reminder for me that if I need to come back and solve this problem again, I don't need to Google it. I've got a nice video record for myself.